uh, moving on for now. During a recent visit to Sri Lanka, Pakistan's chief of air staff, Mujahid Anwar Khan, met the newly elected prime minister of Sri Lanka to extend Pakistan's uh, commitment to cooperate with the island nation's air force. Pakistan made that offer to Sri Lanka at a time when its arch rival, India, was planning to also boost its maritime security uh, with Sri Lanka when it comes to counter-terrorism operations and efforts. Pakistan hopes to offer technical training and professional expertise to Sri Lankan Air Force, a move that will be closely watched by India. India has hosted the Rajpaksa brothers within a span of two months. However, the sources confirming that the Sri Lankan Prime Minister has acknowledged Pakistan's support, but no deals have been signed between the two sides yet. Pakistan military now eyes a comeback in Sri Lanka following the return of the Rajpaksa brothers. The obvious reason is that the Rajpaksa brothers share a history of military ties with Pakistan. As a young army officer in the early 1970s, Godabar Rajpaksa went to Pakistan for an officer's training course at a time when Sri Lanka maintained strong ties with Pakistan. Even during the 1971 war between India and Pakistan, Sri Lanka granted refueling facilities to Pakistani aircraft after India withdrew landing and overflight rights to Pakistan. Joining us in the broadcast this minute is our Pakistan Bureau Chief Anas Malik. What more do we know about what transpired during that crucial meeting, Anas? Well, Molly, it's in a span of about 10 days, two high-level visits from Pakistan on the, from the security side. First being from the Naval Chief Admiral Zafar Mahmood Abbasi, who visited Sri Lanka on the 28th of January last month. And then on the 8th of February, about two days ago, the Pakistani uh, uh, Air Chief, uh, uh, Air Marshal uh, Mujahid Anwar Khan, he also visited Sri Lanka. Now, both sides, they, they emphasize on uh, uh, enhancing security ties and uh, uh, lending in hand towards cooperation, towards security cooperation. Pakistan and Sri Lanka have had security cooperation back in the day. Uh, Pakistani side, what sources in, uh, in Islamabad claim that they have offered uh, the Sri Lankan side to train their pilots as well. Uh, that is what has been offered by the Pakistani HE, whereas the Pakistani naval chief has offered to establish a joint patrol mechanism uh, 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 in the region uh, to counter the piracy and terrorism. That is what the sources have been claiming. Now, if I take you back in time, this is not something new that uh, has been on the cards with the, with the the return of the Rajapaksa brothers, Pakistani side would be eyeing to strengthen its ties with Sri Lanka for obvious reasons because uh, uh, they have, uh, Pakistan has uh, lent its support to Sri Lanka back in the day to eliminate the LTTE and that is something that uh, uh, that has been acknowledged by the Sri Lankan leader, uh, leadership as well time and again and that is the reason uh, with the return of the Rajapaksa brothers, the Pakistani side is keenly engaging with the Sri Lankan side to uh, on on security uh, uh, security horizon on the security landscape in order to reinstate their ties on how it was pre uh, 1970 even even if, uh, how they were back in the